Hey everybody, so I'm just going to be talking about in today's videos what I liked about the Halo Infinite flight and some of the good things I took away and then tomorrow I'm going to release a video of some of the things I didn't like. So to break it down, I got it down to four different things that I picked out that I thought were like surprised me and that I very much enjoyed. First was the dynamic map. I mean like playing through the maps, especially the third one that they released, uh, things around the map would change as the, as the map went on and the game went on. It wasn't anything like amazing like Battlefield 5, which I didn't expect it to be, but it was kind of nice to have stuff like uh, being able to just destroy stuff and then the maps changing. For example, uh, when you went right behind the RPG where it spawned, there's like a back way you could go into and then you could fall down through a vent and at the start of the map, the vent's there and then it's not when you fall through it and I thought it was just something cool that they kind of add. The second had to be the sandbox. Uh, this is just like the weapons, um, the equipment, the animals, literally everything that would like went into the map. I think it's so cool that you can grapple weapons, like power weapons, and you can um, also use grenades to shoot them towards you. I think that was really cool. I loved how they added animals. I mean, this is like the first time we've actually had animals in multiplayer matches uh, in Halo, and I thought it was so much fun just shooting them and. I know this sounds kind of messed up, but I, I genuinely enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, just the overall like equipment. I really liked that some of the new equipment, even the uh, sonar ability. I loved how that was like, it was a team based ability. It wasn't just like specifically for you. And then also the shield too. I like that one. Next would definitely have to be the gunplay. Uh, I really enjoyed like how smooth and solid the guns felt. There's never a time where I was playing and I was like, oh, this feels like COD or this feels like Battlefield. Like, it felt like Halo the whole time, which will give major props for them because games like e even even Halo 4 didn't really feel that much like Halo. It was like they were trying to get what COD was doing and everything just kind of felt weak and just kind of human-like. And it, it, didn't, it didn't feel like you were playing a Spartan. It felt like you were playing a human, which uh, in games like COD and Battlefield is not bad, but in something like Halo, it definitely is. And... So I think on that, at that front, the gunplay, things felt smooth, things were like, it was fun, just going in, trying out the new weapons, even the weapons I sucked at and I didn't really like using, whenever I'd get a chance to get them, I would go use them, like, especially the Bulldog and the Plasma Pistol was literally the only gun that I didn't like go out of my way to get, but if I, if I saw it, I would more than likely go and get it. When it comes to guns, I think they, they hit it out of the park on all of those. And then the, my last point has to be bots. Uh, I think most people were surprised by by this of how good the bots were. There's very there's obviously some like glitches in their AI and and stuff like that, but overall, I think they were really good and they definitely were skilled enough. Uh, once you got to like the Spartan levels to replace a player if, if matches get get left and stuff. And I don't think they were in the PVP section and even the uh, PV bots players bots section. They weren't replacing your team with bots. Uh, mid-match, but at the beginning of the match, I did get into some matches where it was just me and bots, and uh, then the b bots on my team got replaced by players, but they, I mean, it was definitely more difficult just having me and the bots, but they were definitely able to put in and get some kills um, rather than just being a 1v4, so, uh, and I also think thought they were really cool, and I just, I, I think it's cool to finally have some bots in Halo Infinite. Overall, I thought the flight was really fun, and... I do have a couple complaints. Like I said, I'll post a video about that tomorrow. But, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to get some ideas, get some videos out. Uh, probably going to get, like, ten views, which I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's better than nine. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay positive in that front. But, I don't know. If you guys got any got anything you want me to post, any gameplay clips or anything, just let me know. Um, have a Have a good day.